hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to look at the concept of uh, applications of differential calculus we've been discussing differential calculus differentiation and all of that involved and so we are beginning this up part of differential calculus by talking about the what we call the slope of a tangent and normal to curves okay so if i have a curve y of course, you recall that we said if y is equal to f of x, that uh, dy dx represents uh, the derivative of y with respect to x. And this is actually called the gradient function. So it is actually the gradient of the tangent to that function. So if you take the gradient of this tangent, and what's a tangent? A straight line that touches a curve at a point. Okay, so and uh, so that means the y the x stands for the slope, which is also gradient, the gradient of the tangent. Uh, while normal is now the line, the straight line that is perpendicular to the tangent at the same point where the tangent is formed on the curve. Okay, so you will discover that uh, if you are given any function y equal to f of x, therefore the derivative, sorry. The, the slope of the tangent of this function is always determined at a particular point. If you take the derivative this way, that is uh, dy dx, it gives you the gradient of the function at any arbitrary point on that particular function. However, when we want to begin to discuss in details, we would have to ask you the, the slope at a point, say x equal to x0. Okay, so, and this is how we represent it. So the slope is written as uh, dy dx at x equal to x0. So whatever x, x is, uh, whatever point you want to determine that. All right, so, and that is what we have here. And then talking about the slope of the normal. Now, you can see here that the normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other. And by geometry, we are taught that the slope of two lines that are perpendicular to each other have a relationship. So let us assume that the slope of the tangent is mt and that the slope of the normal is mn. Okay, so there is a relationship between two slopes that are perpendicular. So we said that uh, the product of these two slopes must be equal to minus 1. Okay, so that is to say that our mn, which is the slope of the normal line to a particular curve is equal to minus one all over the slope of the tangent okay so the implication of this is that uh, if you are asked to find the gradient of the normal to a curve just find the gradient of the tangent and then take the reciprocal of that so we're going to take some examples quickly example one here says that we should find the slope of the normal line to the curve this so our curve here is y equal to 2x raised to power 3 okay so and we're asked to find the slope of the normal line okay so at a point whose x coordinate is 0 this is actually um, a question I'm bringing from a question paper you know, from uh, Azikiwe University, a university in Nigeria. Okay, so now we, what do we do here? Like I said, just find the derivative of this with respect to x. So if we differentiate this with respect to x, we are going to have 6x raised to power 2 minus 5. Okay, so but remember they said we should determine this slope at the point where your x is equal to 0. So that is to say, that uh, our slope here that is the slope we are talking about here is your empty slope of the tangent so it's going to be equal to dy dx at x equal to zero so and that's going to be meaning anywhere you see x substitute it and put zero and so we are going to have six times zero raised to power two minus five and that's going to give us our slope of the tangent as equal to negative 5. So the implication is now that the slope of uh, 
our normal line, which is what they are asking us for here, is going to be equal to minus 1 all over the slope of the tangent. And that's simply equal to minus 1 all over minus 5. This minus will take away this. And so your answer is uh, 1 all over 5. Okay, so we'll look at example 2. Our example 2 here is a more beautiful example. Uh, the first one is actually very simple. Now, this one says that we should find the slope of the tangent and the normal to the curve, this. So, and if you watch the curve we are given, it's an implicit function. So, we bring down our curve, 2 x to the power 3. Two x raised to the power three plus y squared, all equal to three x y. Okay, so remember we are asked to find the slope of the tangent. So that's beautiful. We'll begin with that one slope of the tangent. I said we should represent it with uh, m c. Okay, and that's equal to your dy dx. And they said at the point one comma two. So uh, whenever you are giving the point as a coordinate, you find the one for x. Remember, it's always x comma y. So that means that uh, you are looking for this at uh, x equal to 1. All right, so we need to find our dy dx now. So what is going to be our dy dx? If you watch what we have is an implicit function. So all we need to do is to differentiate this implicitly. And if we do that, we are going to have... We're going to have 6x squared if we differentiate this. And then if we differentiate this, we're going to have 2y. But because it is y, we attach dy dx. And that is equal to, we come over here. This is a product. So let's call this our u. And then let y be our v. So we use our product rule, which is u dv plus v du. So let's go. Our u is 3x. We differentiate y, we will get 1, then we multiply by dy dx, that will give you dy dx. Then plus our v, which is y, then multiply by the derivative of u. If you differentiate 3x, you will get 3. Alright, so from here, we are going to have uh, 6x, so we are going to collect like them. Let this one that have uh, dy come to this side, and that's going to give us 2y. Okay, so now this cross over here and became negative. This one now, if you multiply, so you are going to have 3y. And then this one crossing over here will become negative 6x squared. All right. And so if you factorize your dy dx here, you are going to have that dy dx is equal, uh, sorry, into the bracket of 2y. Now this will be minus 3x then equal to 3y minus 6x squared. Okay, so at this point, we divide both sides by a coefficient here. Therefore, our dy dx is equal to... All right, so next is to find now the, the slope we are looking for at the point x equal to 1. And that's going to give us that our mt is equal to that... Uh, dy dx at x equal to 1. That's going to be anywhere we see. Sorry. Uh, okay, here, this is an implicit function. So it's involving both x and y. So that is to say we are going to include x and y here. All right, so to substitute here now, we are going to have 3 times, uh, okay, this uh, y is minus 2, then minus 6 into 1 raised to the power 2 all over 2 times minus 2 minus 3 into 1. And that's going to give us, uh, so here we're going to have minus 12 all over minus 7, which is equal to 12 all over 7. So that's the slope of the tangent, mt. And so for the b part, we want to, if we want to find the slope of the normal so all we need to do i called it mn that's equal to one minus one all over mt and that is equal to minus one all over 12 over seven so if we take that reciprocal we'll have minus seven all over 12 and that is the solution to this example 
So finally, we have uh, the third example here. It says that we should find the gradient of the normal and tangent lines at the point this. So just like the second example, so we are going to differentiate that with respect to x implicitly. So if we now you can see that this is a product. This one is also a product. So we use our product through u dv plus v du for each of them. So we begin with our we our u. We are going to have u which is x. Then multiply by derivative of cos y which is our v. And if we do that, we are going to have minus sine y. But because it is y, we are going to attach dy dx. Then plus we bring down that v, which is cos y, multiply by the derivative of this, which is 1. And then we are done with this. So we come over here, plus our u here is y, multiply by the derivative of sine, which is cos x, then plus our v is sine x, we bring it down, multiply by the derivative of y, which will give you 1, then multiply by dy dx, you will get dy dx here. Okay, so, and that is equal to, the whole of this is a constant, so if you uh, differentiate it, you will get zero. So <clears throat> at this point, we try to collect like terms. Uh, if we bring out this, this is going to give us minus x sine y dy dx. And uh, here we have uh, plus sine x. And that is equal to, let's take the ones that don't have dy dx to the other side. And that's going to give us this. Okay, so at this point, we try to factorize. So if we bring out dy dx, we are going to have, now I want to put the positive one first. So that's going to give us sine x, then minus x sine y. And that is equal to, okay, so if we divide both sides by this coefficient here, we are going to have that our dy dx is finally equal to, all right, so we have gotten our dy dx. So now we want to get the gradient of the tangent. So let me call that A now. So the gradient of our tangent will be um, at this point. So our dy dx at the point, what's the point? Pi over 2 comma 0 is going to be equal to wherever we see y, we remove it and put 0. Wherever we see x, we remove it and put pi over 2. Remember that pi is 180 in case we want to do it in degrees. And so pi over 2 will be 90. And so this is going to be minus cos... Okay, so finally here, we are going to have cos 0 is 1, so this is minus 1, cos 90 is 0, in fact, multiply by 0 is 0, all over, sine 90 is equal to 1, then minus sine 0 is 0, so everything here will turn to 0, so your answer here is finally minus 1. And so, the B part, which says that we should find the gradient of the normal Okay, sorry, the normal was the, the A part, so but of course we needed the tangent to be able to get the normal. So let this one be our A and then this one should be our B. All right, so the gradient of the normal, which is MN, is simply equal to minus 1 all over MT. And that is equal to minus 1 all over minus 1. And that is equal to positive 1. All right, and uh, that's the solution to this problem. And that's where we're going to end it for this video. That's uh, how to deal with uh, gradient or slope of the tangent and normal lines of a given curve. All right, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please also find uh, related videos to this concept. That's uh, videos on other topics on differential calculus in the description below. And please make comments, like, and share our YouTube videos. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.